What you are about to witness is one of the craziest days of fishing caught on film. This fishing trip was so crazy that I'm actually having to drop a part two, so stay tuned later on this week for that episode. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and enjoy the episode. Right there, that's Oh my goodness. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, guys. Get in here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Of nature. Yeah, it's bigger than the one in the box. Holy, get in here. Mm. Low. Oh my god. Some six pounds. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, dude. Uh oh. This might be him. Yo, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, if you guys could share this video with a friend, get somebody new into fishing, get somebody in the outdoors. That is why we are on YouTube right now. Before we hop into this, I'd like to say if you guys want to check out some of my merch, you can check it out down below. I don't ask that of you guys often, but if you guys want to check out the merch, kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. I appreciate you guys supporting your boy. Today, we're out on the beautiful Lake Mare, one of the most pressured bass lakes in South Georgia. And we're gonna be trying to put together a pattern and catch some really big fish today. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. We haven't been out on Lake Mare and filmed a video in a very long time. And we also have a special treat, which I'm gonna show you guys later on in the video. But yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. This is this lake right here gets fished every single day. There's already a couple kayaks in here right now. It's very small. Um, it's, it's one of those hybrid lake ponds. It's actually a park, and a ton of people are fishing from the bank every single day as well. And a lot of these people actually keep the fish, so it can tend to hurt the fishery over the years. Over the last five years, I'd say that this fishery has gone way downhill. But there's still a ton of big bass to be caught, and we're gonna see if we can find them today. So we're gonna go ahead and get on the trolling motor idle out there we're gonna scan for some fish i don't know if i'm gonna bore you guys with that but i'm gonna go out try to find some fish at first we're gonna be targeting bass in around 20 to 30 foot of water to start off this video if we can't find the bait and the fish that we need we will target some of the fish up shallow in a few of the pockets but yeah that's the game plan so let's go ahead and get out there and uh see what we can do before we even hop into this if you guys want to check out any of the kicking their bass tv x lose combos you can check them out kickingtheirbass.com I will drop the link down below. All the other lose combos that I use in the videos, you can check those out on lose. We are ready to get this video started. I actually changed my mind on what I want to do at the beginning. So when I was getting the trolling motor down and everything, I saw two blow ups, two little boils on the bank. And so I think I'm going to try shallow right here by the boat ramp, throw a thunder cricket by striking and see if we can catch a few fish off shallow. It's just a tiny little pocket. So I kind of want to throw around for a minute. You know, we might get lucky. Bro, if that is a fish, I got a freaking monster. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a crazy way to start it out. I thought I was about to be on a freaking crazy chatter dunk bite there. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm about to say, if that's a fish, I think it's probably nine, 10 pounds. <laughs> what in the world? That's a fish. Oh my God. No, it's not. I'm like a freaking idiot dude i am catching stick after stick i'm i'm messing them up we've only been three casts in i got two big ones that's pretty embarrassing guys that, that's probably the worst i thought i had a fish there in my life what in the world okay guys just let's let's for, let's forget about that and let's <laughs> let's keep fishing here turtles jumping sticks biting what the heck is going on here they got me all messed up from the first three minutes of the dang video there's a boat pulling out right now that guy was out here early so now i'm going to go out to the main lake and see if we can scan some fish out deep i think that's going to be the game plan 25 foot of water 20 to 30 realistically see where those fish are at see where the bait's at we got a bunch of big gizzards in this place too that are around you know 12 to 14 inches huge gizzard chat so if we can find those big gizzard chat we're probably going to find some big bass mixed up i gotta get away from these geese man they're barking like crazy i mean it's just 
crazy driving me, driving me up the wall sad part is i don't think we're getting away from the birds today but we can get away from the geese because them, them barking noises just driving me berserk <laughs> tell you there's so much bait out here but i just haven't found the fish i don't know what it is i've seen i've seen a couple kind of suspended I've seen a few kind of in the bait piles but i haven't really seen what i'm looking for but i know they're out here like if you find bait there's fish in the area they might just be stacked up on a certain spot so we're gonna move a little closer to this flat. I've actually seen two blow ups in the matter of a couple seconds just while talking to y'all. I might've been in the wrong spot the whole time. These bass might be pushing these fish up on the, uh, bait fish up on these flats and munching on them. That might be what we're witnessing here. fish there on the bottom there he is first fish guys nice little bass nice bass to start off the day look at that on the old spoon got to start somewhere get us started pop this off a little fish about a pounder thank you buddy got to get started somewhere that's our first fish of the day i'm glad we got that bite Let's go get some more. I, I know we're in the right spot, guys. I know uh, I know we are positioning up in the right area. He was in 15 foot of water. That's something to kind of keep mental note on. You know, today we're kind of breaking down this body of water and trying to figure out what these fish are doing and put together a little pattern here. So our first bass of the day, he was caught on a, a flat. It was actually right on the drop off before it comes up super flat here. And uh, he was in 15 foot of water so that's our first little keynote today had a lot of activity around us a lot of bait fish so i know that we're in the right area we just got to keep on hunting and see if we can find some of these bigger ones and see if there's any quality up here if not we can go to a new spot and try to try to play around here how you doing You're learning everything. I try. Yeah. And I don't know what the fish. So there's a uh, there's bass. Sorry, my English, my English is not good. No, you're okay. Uh, you understand? Maybe I can say something. Yep. But it's difficult to understand. I understand. Uh, what uh, what the fish? It's a bass. Bass. And a bunch of crappy. Uh, like crappy. Yep. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot of that. Uh, a lot of bass though. And uh, what what do you use? I'm throwing just a little spoon. Uh -huh. I'm just targeting them on the graph down here on this edge. So I'm just throwing the spoon out there, but also. Uh -huh. So the chatterbait. Like, like yep. Exactly exactly yep it, they'll eat it pretty good but it's it's a hard this place is tough it's kind of hard to catch them out here it's uh, difficult uh, first time yeah i cannot stop <laughs> yeah I stop. it's wind uh, yeah the wind's tough on the kayaks yeah. Yeah. it's tough on the kayak a lot of fish out here a lot of them you can fish for them i don't care yeah yeah <laughs> you too thank you my guy um this is his first time out here he's actually his first time on a kayak so he was he was just trying around he, he said he didn't speak the best english trying my very best to speak to him trying to tell him give him a few tips that he could catch the, catch the fish on but i think he's having a hard time this is not the easiest place for somebody to come out and fish really not i should have one here in a second but what you just got to understand about this place is just so much pressure these bass just get beat up on that's the biggest thing with this fishery it's just the pressure i couldn't tell you how many people are fishing from the bank today and, and today's a thursday morning and there's a ridiculous amount of people fishing from the bank so that's just a uh, part of it out here 
These got to be some crappy too that I'm scanning down here. The way that they're stacked. Ooh, I don't know. He's he's nosing right down on me. I don't know what I got, but there's three fish on me right here. Uh-oh. That one's got some weight. It might be a bass. He's fighting like a bass. Oh, yeah, it is a bass. Those were bass, man. I thought they were crappy. They were stacked on top of each other just like crappy. And, I mean, he just he slurped it up, man. There was about four of them down there. Hit our spot lock. Lock us here. That's a better one. That's better than our first one. I'm about to say, the way he went down on that bait, it just seemed like it was a bass, but the way that they were stacked was just like crappy. I, I don't know if you guys know, but it was crappy. Most of y'all know how they stack up. You know, they're just piled on top of each other. But that is a beautiful, almost a two-pound bass right there. Second fish of the day, sniping them. Thank you, buddy. There was about four or five of them down there. Let's see if we can get back on them. I, I really thought those were crappy. That kind of changes my mindset. Something really good that we could do today as well, guys, is crank. It's one thing I haven't really thought about, but to be honest, I think it could be a killer way for us to catch these fish. I'm going to untangle my baits before I get myself in a big mess. Oh, dang, I didn't realize it, but I, I with that last bass that I caught, I, I, when I went for the pliers, I ripped out that other hook on the treble. That ain't good, but... That'd be okay. I made a quick adjustment, put on a 6XD. I can get down to their level. I got one, dude. First freaking pass, and it looks like a nice one. Oh, yeah. Right inside the freaking head, man. Look at that. Literally first cast on the crank. If that doesn't tell us something, I don't know what does. Little 6XD bass. First freaking cast. I really thought I was on the bottom. It's hard for me to believe that my first cast on the crank was on catch one. <laughs> but it did, man. Maybe that's the secret. Get these bass to fire up. You know, they have, they've been a little finicky. They haven't been wanting to turn up on the baits. Something about a crankbait that just and make a bass eat it. I like the strategy too. You know, you throw up on that flat, you start digging down and you're riding right down with the drop off. Got a group of bass right here on this drop off. Might be able to get one cranking about three of them. Right there. Like better one. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Yeah, boys. This is a long bass, not even fat, man. It's a long bass. Saw about three of them. I miss an old crank, but a lot of you guys have been asking for a crankbait video, so here you go. We're gonna throw other baits this video, so don't, don't be discouraged if you're not the biggest on crankbaits. But this might be a good way for us to target these bigger fish. What is that, our fourth one? Not bad, second fish on the crank in about 10 minutes. see them on the graph or anything they're just hugging the bottom so tight it's crazy how some of these bass can be suspended and they're all eating it the same way some of these bass are suspended some of them are just hugging the bottom where you can't even graph them and they're all eating it i don't know if you notice every single dang one of them has had that in the side of their face so they're swiping at it fish number five we getting somewhere Uh-oh. No way that's a fish. Okay. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> I thought I just hooked into the Bertha of all Berthas. I mean, I thought I just had a Megalodon of a bass. So I was able to catch all those one to two pounders. Just getting a lot of big fish out here. I've been out here for probably like an hour, close to it. And uh, I just can't, there we go. Oh, it's got a big, it's a big one and there's a lot with it. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good one. I knew these fish were a lot bigger. It's four pounder, boys. Oh my goodness. He had a stack of them with him his size. Mark these real quick. Let's go, boys. I was about to say, I cannot get these big ones to eat. And then I get him to bite. That's a good one right there, guys. A good one right there. That's the fish that we're looking for. Big old heads on them like that. Thank you for biting, baby. I've been waiting for some good ones to bite. Don't tell your buddies not to bite, because I'm about to catch them. These are the ones we need to be on, boys. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a monster. It's cold. Well, I'm gonna get him fired up, guys. I'm gonna boat flip him in quick. Oh my God, another four pounder back to back cast. Woohoo! We had to figure out what these fish wanted with the small ones. And we we're gonna figure out how to catch the big ones on them baits. That's a freaking nice one. Get yeah, out that he is. That's our first freaking chunky chunk. Thank you. Don't tell your friends. You all ready? I got them fired up. I can see them just off the bottom. There's so many of them right here too. Oh, I'm about to get hit. Come on, baby. Give me three in a row. Oh, yeah. That one's long and skinny. That's three casts. Three casts, three nice fish. Dude, we are on some good. Oh, thank the Lord, man. Thank you for blessing us with another amazing day of fishing. Wow. This spot is freaking loaded, boys. And it's about to go down. Oh my gosh. There's so many down there, guys. There's so many down there. We're just gonna keep running. I'm about to get drilled. Oh, missed him, I missed him. Oh, that would have been four casts. Oh, <laughs> my mistake just cost me that fourth cast fish. We'll get him this time. I just got slammed. Oh my goodness. Dude, they're all nice. That one's a little smaller. The first two were big. These last two have just been skinny. This is what I've been waiting on. This was actually the spot that I scanned about an hour and a half ago. Where I was like, there's some big ones down there. I got my trolling motor spot locked up there, so I'm, the wind's not pushing us. So we're just able to cast, hook these fish, release them back. Oh my gosh. Here we go. You ready? We're about to get freaking slobbered. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, dude. This is freaking crazy. Oh my god, that might be a big one. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Another four pounder. Oh my god, he choked it too, man. Oh my gosh, it's like five cast five, or six cast five fish. We should have had six and six, but what can we do about that? Coming up to be my best day on Lake Mare, it looks like. Another close to four pounder. That's a high three pounder. More out right there. Get this bait to go down, we'll get drilled. The thing I just got slammed. I didn't even know. Yeah, I did. He's freaking had it the whole time, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This might be him. Here, I have him hooked here. Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's a good one. <laughs> Bro, we just caught 20 pounds in like five casts. Oh, he came off. I, like, oh. oh, I know, right? We got a live audience. Oh my gosh, guys. These fish are freaking crazy. I feel bad for all these people up on the bank, man. I'm just waylaying them here. Dude, those fish on there's fish on the right side that are just low. Oh my god, guys! 
Oh boy. Oh boy. It's a mega chest. Might need the net. Yeah, I need the net. Oh my god. Gosh, look at these freaking bass, man. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him in the box. Yes, sir. I'm gonna put a couple in the box just in case this guy catch a dirty 30 right here. Get ready. Twenty. These guys on the bank, I think, are in disbelief, guys. They're just... <laughs> this is kind of crazy, though. How many fish did I catch? Like, 10 and 10 cats. Dude, there's a monster right here. Right. right there, that's him. Oh, my goodness. I saw his tail moving on my grab. Oh, man, that's bigger than the last. Oh, oh my god, dude. Oh my god, I should have got the net ready on that last one. This was, yeah, it's bigger than the one in the box. Holy cow. Get in here. Mm. Oh my gosh, he's got a bluegill in the back of his mouth. Oh my god, it came off, dude. That was a freaking mega. That one fell freaking hard. You get it closer to the boat. I think he was following it up when I started ripping it up. Oh my god. Look at that one. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful markings. We found those fish at the beginning to figure out the pattern, to figure out the bait. Then we found some big fish put this to work and these fish are fired up and they ain't stopping anytime soon i mean that was just a casual three pounder yeah this is probably my craziest day on lake beer so guys i just checked the clock we caught all of those bass <laughs> you're not gonna believe this in 11 minutes oh my gosh yeah that's him that's a monster that is a mega guys Freaking good one though. Can't complain with that. When you call in that a small fish, four pounder, you're you're on something. Straight girthy girl. They're, dude, they're loaded down here, man. I'm talking like it's crazy. Guys, we got some really big ones out there. Still, which is insane. Should catch them right here. They're all over. It's like it's like I keep catching more and it's like more keep pulling up. Should get bit right here. Oh my god, it came off. There's a bunch of good ones stacked up. I haven't cast there in a minute. Let's see if we can fire them up. Yeah. That's a big one. Man, that's a three pounder. It's just so thick, man. It's just fat. I ain't gonna lie, they're starting to not be as many. The second ago, there was twice as many. I don't know what happened there. Either we're pulling them off or what. We should catch one right here. Come on, baby. We got a crowd of people watching. This is so funny, man. Dude, I just got Thanks. He went right to the top. This is the tiniest guy. <laughs> How are you mixed in with them five pounders, dude? I'll get one right here. This is the money gas, I feel it. They're more stacked up on this side, I think. Yeah, you just bit me. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, that one has a mouth on it, boy. Oh, they're stacked up again, they're stacked up again. That's so weird, man. 
Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, man. Might be. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. I'm actually worn out, guys. I, w I'm, I really wish somebody was with me to enjoy this experience. I mean, I just really wish somebody was with me. I actually asked a lot of people if they wanted to go yesterday. They had, like, work and stuff, so I don't totally get. But I'll tell you, we putting in the work right now, aren't we? Putting in the work. It's crazy because that last big one I just caught, you know, I saw so many fish pull up here and and now they're just gone. They might have followed, it might have been a school of them and they followed him in. That could have been what it was. Right here, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what, that's what I want you to do. Yeah, there's still some out. They pulled back up. Oh my god, that's a freaking big and tiny. Oh my god, guys, that's like a... <laughs> that fish is over five. I can't be flipping them like that. Oh, this rod. Holy cow. Man, I don't know what to call this when you ain't getting excited over five pounders. I don't even know. The only thing that excites me right now is a seven plus. But tomorrow, this would hide me out. I'm not going. <laughs> that is a straight freak of nature straight freak we're actually gonna put them back i don't really see a point in me put them in the lava oh my god i don't have somebody with me to take a picture i thought it would be pretty cool but i don't have nobody with me to do it i got two in there just in case i can figure it figure it out It's crazy guys, these fish are like pulling up and then they pull off for a minute and then they pull back up. It's, oh my god, he stopped. Oh, he. My ribs are hurting from a rod hitting him, man. Another four pound. Pretty. I think they're going to the right, to the left, to the right. I think that's why I keep thinking that they're not here. And I make a crazy cast to the right and then I get slammed. I think they're just roaming this edge of this flat. And I think I'm just catching them on the right zones. I have three different zones here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's him, buddy. Oh, yeah. This is this is a mega. I'm gonna have to get him to the back of the boat so I can net him. Oh my gosh, yes. I found her. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> how many of these freaking brutes can we catch dude how, how many of them can we catch? like how many are down there dude the crazy thing is like i have a feeling there's another spot out here and i don't know if i'm gonna do it today because i've had I, i'm worn out i'm not gonna lie but there's got to be a spot out here that's got eight to ten pounders on it like that that will you would if we did that dude i don't even know what to say Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, guys. I don't know about this one, but I think it's bigger than... Uh, he's a big one. Don't get me wrong, but he ain't bigger than that last one. I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, my God, he might be. He came off. Yeah, I was like six pounder. <laughs> I mistaked him as like a, like a three or four. Oh, my God. On any other day, if I lost a six, five, six pounder, I would be a little upset. Today, not really. Dude, I mean, it's another big one. Oh my gosh. 
cow. I didn't get a good look at her, but her head is massive. That's like six. Should I try to flip her? Get around the edge, baby. Oh my god. <sighs> Did we have 30? I don't think we have 30. We got high 20s. We don't have 30. It's just crazy to me that I hooked three this big in a row. I mean, look at them things. Freaks of nature. That's three in a row. <laughs> that big. <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> there he is again, dude. That's four casts in a row. You don't get it. That's another big one, dude. That's another big one. That might be big, big. That actually feels bigger than anything today. I'm gonna grab the neck because I can't really clear the seat up. I don't need the neck. It's another five though. That's five casts in a row. How many you got? Dude, I couldn't even tell you. I mean, they're all this big. That's five casts in a row that big. Yeah. I mean, they're just pretty too. Yeah. I mean, they're fat. Beautiful. Are you, what you fishing for over there? Sure. Good. Yeah. You want to try to catch one? Huh? You want to try to catch one? Yeah. Here, pull up on this side. All right, guys, we're going to try to I'm gonna get this guy on a big fish here. Come roll up next to me. I'll let you hop off on my boat. We'll just kind of tie you right here. Still got a little bit left for old man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, you got one. Nice. <laughs> Did you get him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Brother, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> that is a monster. Oh my gosh. Come here, come here. Get him to me. Get him, get him, get him to me. Oh my gosh.